Welcome to part 2 of STM32 Trust video series about TFM. This video will cover the steps to get you started with the package. First, we are going to show how to download the package and then describe its content in detail. Let's review what are the download options. As mentioned in the overview, the TFM reference code is available as of today as one of the applications included in STM32Cube package for STM32L5. STM32Cube is a set of tools and embedded software bricks to enable fast and easy development with the STM32 microcontroller of your choice. This video will show the steps to download the STM32Cube L5 as a reference, but the same principle will apply to other STM32 microcontrollers once TFM supported will be extended. There are two options for downloading STM32Cube L5. The first one is to download it from ST.com. You can search for STM32Cube L5 in the search bar. Clicking on the link, you will be redirected to this landing page, where you can find an overview of the package and the list of features that it includes. From this page, you can also reach the relevant user manual and application note from the documentation tab. You will find the list of documents, including the ones we mentioned in the overview video. As mentioned before, we would recommend you to have all this material handy during your developments. From here, we can go back to the overview page and scroll down to the bottom of the page. You will see the Get Software section, where you can check what is the latest version of the package, in this case, version 1.4.0. Clicking on Get Software, you will be prompted with the package license agreement. After reviewing it, you can click on Accept. At this stage, you can either fill the form with your information and click on the Download button, or you can click on the Login Register to create a MyST account or to log in to your existing one. If you don't have an account already, you can click on this link, fill the form and register, while if you already have one, you can simply put your email address and password and click on Login. The download of the package will begin. Another recently introduced option for downloading STM32Cube package is to get it from a Steam Microelectronics account on GitHub. Going back to the STM32Cube landing page, you can click on the Get from GitHub link. This will open the corresponding GitHub page that includes an overview of the package and of its content. You can check out the code as you would do with any other GitHub Git project. Let's now review the content of the package we just downloaded. STM32Cube L5 includes all the building blocks to get you started with your developments for STM32L5, drivers, middlewares, and example applications. Let's now open the release notes HTML for more details. In this HTML, you can find the description of the content and of its building blocks on the left. While on the right, you can find some other useful information such as the revision history and what are the latest changes of each of the components of the system, like drivers, middlewares, and utilities. You will also find the known limitations for this revision, together with the list of the supported tools and compilers and the hardware development kits. Finally, you will also see a list of the dependencies. Another very useful reference included in every cube package is the project list HTML, included in the projects folder. This file contains a list of all the examples included in this revision. In the STM32 cube package, examples are classified in different categories, examples, examples low level, example mix, applications, and demonstrations. For each one, you can find a short description together with the indication of which ST hardware development kit that example is provided for. In this case, we have examples for the STM32L562 Discovery Kit, the L5 Evaluation Board, and the Nucleo L552. Please note that this only reflects the porting included in this package. Each example could be tailored to any other supported device and development board. Let's search for the TFM application description. You will find the TFM application example that, as reported in the description, consists in the Secure Boot and Secure Female Update application and the user application with TFM Secure Services at runtime. This configuration runs on the STM32L5.6.2 Discovery Kit and is the one we will use as a reference for this video. The package includes also another SBSFU application that runs on the Nucleo L552. This example provides a similar Secure Boot and Secure Female Update reference code but it does not include a TFM services implementation. 
Now, before diving into the application code, let's refresh what are the middleware components used by the application and see where we can find it. As mentioned in the overview video, the TFM reference application is based on three third-party middlewares, MCO Boot, TFM, and the Embed Crypto Library. The source code can be found when opening the middlewares and third-party folder. In here, you will see the MCU boot folder that includes the open source implementation of the secure bootloader. You can refer to the included readme file for more information. The TFM folder that includes the software components of the TFM framework and implementation of the secure services at runtime. Also in this case, you can refer to the included readme file for more information. And finally, the embed crypto library, a reference implementation for PSA cryptographic operations that is used by both the MCO boot and the TFM middlewares. Also in this case, you can refer to the ST readme included in the folder for further information. Let's see now where to find the TFM project implementation. We can click on projects, discovery kit, applications, and we will find the TFM folder. As with any other STM32Cube application project, you can refer to the readme.txt file for detailed information on the content, on how to prepare the setup, and how to use the example. In the next video, we are going to go through a step-by-step -step compilation and execution of the whole project, following the instructions included in this document. But let's start now with an overview of each folder. The folder you will find here are the TFM as few boot folder, that includes the source code for the secure boot and secure firmware update application the TFM application folder, that includes the TFM secure and non-secure application source code, the linker folder, that includes the memory mapping shared between the TFM SBC view boot and the TFM application projects, and the TFM loader, that includes a Y modem loader application example. The structure of the folders is similar for each project. Let's open, for example, the TFM application folder. You will see a dedicated readme.txt file, that you can refer to for additional information, together with the folders, including the projects for the supported toolchains, IR, stm 32 cubeide and Kyle. Okay, this concludes this second video. Now that we have a better understanding of the content of the package and on where to find additional information, we can proceed with the step-by-step -step compilation and execution of the example. This will be covered in part three. Thanks a lot for your attention. Don't forget to visit the STM32Trust landing page at st.com stm32trust. I look forward to seeing you in the next video of the series.